When I first watched this video and saw that the police were about to arrest this sovereign citizen, I had a little bit of sympathy for her. I said, what is going on? But then I watched it a second time. I listened more closely and I said, well, the police were completely justified. Isn't that how it works out most of the time here? Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining the Common Sense Academy. I'm Joe Pometto, Joe the Lawyer. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Also, sign up to subscribe for my new channel, Joe the Lawyer, which you can find the link for in the description below. We're going to watch the video in just a second here. Stick around for my commentary afterwards. In the meantime, raise your cup, your glass in the air. Yes, today I'm drinking coffee, the nectar of the gods. It tastes better when we sip together. Cheers. Let's watch this video. For a disturbance, it's a he said, she said. For theft, I have a witness right now. That's who's, I, who's a witness? They I have a, a witness. They, I have a witness. They are the I have a witness as well to say that she violated my rights. That is violated my rights. Why not accepting the tax exemption? That is a violation of rights. It's for religious reasons. It says it on the paper. On top of that, I have a paper that says I'm tax exempt. Okay. Show them your nationality card. Okay, can you please. Like show you my nationality card? Please? Show your nationality no, sir, card. It's not too late. I need to show you my nationality card. Sir. Hey. Excuse uh, me. Excuse me, sir. I am an American now. Hey, stop, please. Stop. Hey, relax. Rachel, relax. Okay, okay. 
A simple little disturbance. And you're gonna make it go this way. No, sir, I do Give not us your want other to hand. This way. Can you please just listen Give to us me? your hands. Where's your card? I have it in my in my purse. Where's your purse? Like I said, when I first watched this video, I had some empathy for the, the female sovereign citizen here. She's talking about some sort of tax exemption that she didn't get her tax exemption when she was in the store. The person in the store apparently told her to call the police and if the police said it was okay, as if the police or the IRS or know anything about taxes, if the police said it was okay, then they would give the tax exemption. So I don't know who called the police here. Lord, I hope she didn't call the police on herself. So the police show up, she starts talking about this tax exemption and I don't know if she has an item, a drink in her hand or a drink and uh, you know the police are asking her several questions and then sort of the next thing I know they're, they're beginning to put her in handcuffs well what I heard the second time I watched it was that she had stolen the drink she had stolen the drink because I was thinking and she says oh you can't arrest me for not identifying myself and I thought well is this a stop and ID case what's going on here because some some states do have stop and identify statutes where if the police have reasonable suspicion okay they can stop you they can ask you to identify yourself and if you fail to identify yourself that in and of itself can be a criminal violation but once I heard and I, I imagine most of the time if the person's not doing anything wrong or suspicious uh, the police are probably not going to arrest for violation of stop and identify I can't say that flat out all right I'm sure they misused that statute I have no doubt about it and I thought that that was maybe the situation here but it turned out it wasn't she had she had stolen this drink I guess she went in and here was my question did she pay for half of it like did she just try to pay the amount of the drink that didn't include taxes so she put it was let's say it was 265 and she put two dollars you know on the counter and walked out and still owed the 65 cents well that's still theft you got to pay those taxes that the store has to pay it the store has to pay it okay it's a sales tax so um you know at first is this a sovereign well yeah it is i took this video from um van bayon who's the best van bayon is the best putting out the sovereign citizen videos and there's a link in my description below you can click check out his channel most of you already know so um it turns out that she starts talking about uh, the police being policy enforcers. Yeah, they're policy enforcers. They enforce the policy of the law. They enforce the policy of the criminal law. And she's saying, well, let, write me a citation, sir. Just write me a citation. Look, we know you're not going to pay that citation. And in a lot of circumstances, they would, but they're not going to allow, even theft. I mean, the police are not going to, you're going to get arrested for theft, petty theft. Really doesn't matter what it is. Um, and she's, again, she's saying, I can't go to jail for failure to identify. Well, in certain states, you actually can. And then the full sovereign citizen comes out. At a certain point, she says, I'm not, I'm a traveler. I'm not a driver. And then whoever is videotaping this, uh, this situation, who again, used upside, you got to use horizontal. Come on, people. Come on. Get on the horizontal video. He says, show them your nationality card. Show them your nationality card. Well, a nice you know, nationality card might actually do the trick when it comes to identifying yourself. Because if you don't have a driver's license, really all you have to do for those statutes, I researched this previously, is give them your name, your full and correct name. But, um, and if you give them a fake name, then you'll be charged with fake ID. <laughs> <laughs> happens all the time but he starts talking about this nationality card policy enforcer oh yeah this we have full-blown sovereign citizen going on here at the end when she's being arrested she's saying I do not consent I do not consent so what what kind of what is she gonna end up with here at the end of the day well probably a charge for theft possibly a charge for resisting arrest and possibly a charge for the stop and identify statute people listen when the police you know comply and sue them later 
comply with the police if they're breaking the law, sue them later. So uh, the sales tax dodge, this is the first time I've seen this with the sovereign citizens, considering they grew out of an anti-tax movement back in the 60s and 70s. It's no surprise. It's a big part of their ideology. So I hope you enjoyed the show today. Thank you for tuning into the Common Sense Academy. Check out my other channel, Joe the Lawyer. You can find a link in the description below, right at the top. Click on it, subscribe. Check it out. If you don't like it, fine. But please, give me a subscription because I'm trying to get to 1,000. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Common Sense Academy, same time, Sib, out.